Today we're building an order for a Gengar Game Boy Advance SP. So as usual, the first thing we need to do is go over and grab our donor SP and extract the motherboard. This one's got some pretty cool stickers on it, so I'm definitely going to be peeling these off and saving them. Now the first thing I noticed with this motherboard is that the buttons aren't really acting like they should. So the first thing we're going to need to do is solder in all new switches so that these buttons are feeling brand new. So let's get this shell taken apart and get the motherboard out of here so I can show you the very scientific method that we have of removing these old buttons. Now, ripping them off with a knife may seem a little barbaric, but it really is just the easiest way to get it done. Now, taking a look at the old buttons here, you can see that they do tend to get this burnt look to them. So now that we have all of the old buttons off, we can go ahead and start soldering in the new ones. This is a little tedious to do, but as long as we make sure that all of them are making contact correctly, we're good to go. And now we're on the home stretch. All you have to do is install that new IPS screen and start assembling the shell with the motherboard. 